Hi guys, this is Tracy from The Venue Stamps and welcome to another tutorial. We are going to be using uh, the jar this time from the Sticker Stencil 9 collection. I'm going to be using watercolour card. So let's get started. Let me just peel that off, take the centre out and then we're going to place that down as central as we can get it. They are repositionable so if you don't get it right the first time we can just take that off and reposition it. So I am going to go with a little bit more of a sort of orangey look and I'm going to start with the Sundance. So taking our larger stencil brush I'm going to just Get some colour on there first, keeping the centre nice and light. And that's where we're going to pop our main focal stamp. So nice and soft all the way around. And then we're going to bring in the russet orange. So again, very softly around the edge. We don't want to hide that yellow completely, so try and stick to the edge a little more. I'm going to take our lovely fairy, this is Star, one of my favourite fairies, and I'm going to ink her up in the Nocturne. So she is completely covered and then let's pop her down and about there so slightly over on that one side just to give her a little bit more space now you're stamping onto watercolor card which is a little bit more fibrous so make sure that that ink soaks in give it a good press and let it rest as well and in that way you'll get all the lovely detail. Yeah, there we go. And now we can start adding some foliage around the fairy there so it kind of pulls your eye into the centre. So I've got Sand Dune, which is a lovely colour, very subtle. I love it, especially for more sort of sepia cards. Okay, let's just pop that away and we're going to be using Summertime and then I'm going to grab a mini stamp And now we've got Portobello, some other leaves here. So by adding different colours, um, it gives us a really nice depth to the card. It's got a really nice sort of autumnal feel, hasn't it? Okay. So you see that I'm stamping around her, okay? I want to bring in some nice detail with the clean colour pens. So I'm looking for a pale colour because that will help me blend. So 
we need to make her a little bit more sort of of a solid figure. So blends so nicely using those two colours and of course on the watercolour card that makes a huge difference as well so if this is the sort of thing that you want to do using the clean colour pens then I would highly recommend the watercolour card And we'll just put a touch of orange in there, like so. And now we need to add a little bit of depth around the edge. So I'm going to use the henna now. Now we need to be a little bit careful because it is quite a strong colour. So I'm using a small stencil brush, taking some off first and then just literally just touching the edges. So give, give yourself time to just get a feel. And I know again, it feels like I'm coloring in all the stamped image that I've done, but it's just such a lovely effect if you can get that depth at the edge it makes the whole jar look far more three-dimensional we've really got a bit of autumn going on in here haven't we nice colors okay i'm thinking we are nearly there I'm just going to ink up a verse because I feel like something's missing here and I just want something very subtle. So I'm going back to sand dune and then making sure I've got the verse the right way around, I'm going to pop that down there. And again there. That's nice. That just takes that emptiness away. So when you're stamping the words just to fill an empty space, just use a really nice light colour like this one, like Sun Dune. That is a beautiful colour. I've got my cork here that goes in the top. Um, so I'm going to peel that off. Looks fab, doesn't it? I love it when you kind of pull that cover off and you reveal what's underneath. I love it. I'm going to ink up in twilight and then line that cork up to where we want it to sit. Give it a good press. And there we have it. And actually, what I might do is just round the jar as well. Which looks fine. So I will now do a few little orbs I think. And we'll stick with yellow. And then add the white in the centre there just to lift it that little bit more. 
and finishing off we shall pop some stickles down this one is um, copper which I think will go quite nice all I'm going to do is just bring in a few little streaks different heights and there we have it and there is Star and she's in a jar thank you so much guys for joining me again today I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourselves and I will see you very soon you take care. Bye for now.